Tong Shaman Hao. Today's video is on blended learning. We talked about this before when we'll be flipping the classroom. Now, how do we do this? For the student, blended learning, flipping the classroom, is preparation and pre learning of new content which is completed at home or on your own in the class. This means what was previously completed at home or learnt in the classroom is now homework. Right? Whereas your homework will now be completed in the classroom. So for example, activity sheets and finishing off exercises. That will be done in the classroom. So it's flip, flipping the situations of learning in, in the classroom and at home. All right, now the benefits are for the students, when you go over all this work, all right, uh, you can move at your own pace. Now, the great thing I like about this style of teaching and learning is that I can help those who have any questions about the video content individually. And those who don't need as much help can move on to the next phase. So they're moving at their own pace. Now, there's lots of benefits for this. Uh, you can not only move at your own pace, but you can master the content as well according to your own speeds and your own learning styles and so on. Don't worry, I won't be just saying, here's a video, go watch it. We'll be spending quite a few lessons learning how to flip properly and how to use the video lessons. Now, the tools that uh, we used in blended learning are tools that you use already. With blended learning, uh, there's nothing really new. It's just the order and sequencing of how you use the tools to create learning activities which are important and are the big difference between traditional learning and teaching. Blended learning works great with all different tools. Uh, the tools that I will be using, and you as well, will be uh, to do with technology. So we've got our technology and here's the, uh, an image of the sequencing. So some of the technology we use in class would be your laptops, possibly your smartphones at home or your tablets. Also be using paper books uh, because we'll be using textbooks as well. Right? And Cornell notes and activity sheets. Let's have a look at the Cornell notes for the time being. I'll just bring up another screen. All right, the Cornell Notes, which we've gone over in class, Cornell Notes will be set out this way. You've probably done something very similar before, and this is in our OneNote as well, so you can have a look at it. But basically, the Cornell Notes is broken up into four sections, the topic, heading, and date. And then in this column here, this is where you write down your ideas and points or any questions you may have for the teacher. And here is your uh, notes section, which I call sketch notes or messy notes section, where you can uh, jot down any points, draw diagrams, for example, arrows and so on, anything that helps you remember the content. And then the summary of the notes is down here where you'll write something succinctly and clearly about what the video was all about. So you'll be watching the video, uh, writing your or and drawing, your sketch notes here, and then any questions in this section here. And then your neat uh, notes here. And that'll be to help you uh, remember what the content was about. All right, so here's an example here of a Japanese video that the students were watching. You can see here, this, is, this section is quite messy. And then they've got a question, and then they're uh, detailed notes here about what the video was about. All right, so for flip learning, uh, which is really the pre-learning, this is where technology and other tools really show their value and power. For flip learning, I'll be recording videos like this one and selecting or selecting appropriate videos. Now these will be on key concepts of what learn, uh, what the topic is, what we're learning for each unit. So this might be videos on uh, sentence patterns or grammar or just pronunciation practice. 
When flipping the learning, instead of me teaching you the sentence pattern, you watch the video and learn by watching it and re-watching. And the great thing about the video is that you can pause, rewind and take your notes uh, as you progress through the video. And writing down questions on anything that you're not sure about and want to ask me next lesson. At times there will be accompanying activities to do with the video and these are all of which are very important in this style of learning. So the Cornell note taking is very important plus the um, additional activities to help you master. I'm not saying that we won't have the traditional style of teacher talk lessons but sometimes uh, we will be using these videos and then sometimes we'll be doing the teacher talk, student collaboration and other activities in the class. So we're blending all these things together. So after watching the video, either next lesson um, or if you're watching at home or in the classroom, you bring the notes to class and any questions that you have, uh, then that's the time to ask me in the classroom. You can always contact me via email as well. So here, there's our Cornell Notes page that we just saw a moment ago, an example of it, and some of the other tools. Handwriting notes, uh, the pre-learning is what we talked about with the flip learning, with the videos, and the tools and equipment. For example, the video lessons that I'll be recording, and... Also, we've got uh, Education Perfect, which is a great tool to help us learn the vocabulary and to do formative tasks with, and also other things like Quizlet and so on. And our textbook as well. Now, a summary of blended learning. Students prepare or pre-learn new work. Homework will be completed in the class usually, not all the time, but usually that's what's going to happen. So it's that flipping the homework to the classroom. And you'll be going uh, back and forwards with these, right? Pre-learned work and homework. The teacher has more time to help you and students progress at their own pace. So there's a lot of great benefits for the teacher and the student in this form of teaching and learning and we'll just move slowly with this till everyone gets used to it and then we'll have an evaluation and reflection and see what you actually think. I, I think it's going to be great for us and um, I'll be asking for your feedback soon. Thank you.